What's going on, everybody? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Hey, today we're gonna train some squats, we're gonna train some deadlifts, and we're gonna train some accessory work after for bigger quads. But I'm not gonna overdo it on the accessories because just squatting and deadlifting, these two movements are gonna drain my energy. So let's get to it. I'm gonna do some straightforward warm ups, maybe two, three reps max to save my energy for these heavier working sets. Today, I'm working on pause squats. I've had a nagging injury on my left thigh. I don't know, I did the hack squat machine uh, at the gym and I fucking, I went down on the hack squat and on my eighth rep, I felt like a pop, like a pop right here. Like it, I don't know, it's hard to explain honestly. You gotta feel it. <laughs> and that shit hurt for like, well, it's been two weeks now and I'm warming up and I don't feel any pain today, so let's get to it. Let's be grateful that we can fucking move pain-free and get these reps in, get that volume in, and get stronger and bigger. All right, so warming up here to my top working sets of the day. Um, for my warm-ups, I like to keep it simple, like I said before, only a couple sets, a couple reps, sorry, per set. Um, the reason is you want to save your energy. You don't want to overdo it on your warm-ups because if you overdo it and spend too much energy, you're just going to get exhausted to your working sets and it's just a waste of energy and time, really. Um, so here, for example, I noticed when I look back at this clip right here, I noticed that it looked a little bit off and I noticed, oh shit, my feet are way too wide. So I went for a more narrow stance and it's much better for me to activate my quads and if i go more uh, wider it just activates my hips and glutes more and i, I don't really want that I, if i do high bar i want to really activate my quads as much as possible so i go uh, to a more narrow stance and it works better for me as well so uh, it's important to just keep track of what you do and how you do it so i'll recommend it again film yourself and improve that was there. my first heavy set of squats in about two weeks feels heavy, I'm not gonna lie, feels fucking heavy compared to before, it felt a little bit easier before, but we rebuilt, you know, you gotta rebuild sometimes because at the end of the day, a squat is a skill and you gotta build up that skill. It's like any other movements, bench, squat, deadlift, it doesn't even matter if it's a fucking bicep curl, it's to a certain extent a skill that you gotta develop, you gotta get your nervous system used to it, you gotta get your body used to it and build some muscle around that and strength, so we build. I notice a technique flaw that I, I, I do a lot. When I get tired on my last reps, I don't breathe in a whole lot. I don't brace enough. I, I, I'm like, and then I brace. I don't like take a deep, deep breath through my stomach and then brace that shit. You really gotta put a lot of fucking emphasis on that breathing plus bracing when you do these reps to have quality, stability, and power. I noticed that and now next set I'm gonna get four reps because I know I know I can get it if I breathe and brace properly. Hey it feels good to be back and back squatting again pain free. My left squat was really firing up every single time I was doing legs but this was the first session in two weeks that it was not so my goal is to rebuild my squat stronger than it was before. Um, I'm gonna do that by squatting at least twice a week and practicing a bunch of paw squats. I notice for myself, every time I do lots of paw squats, it, it improves my technique and it improves my power as well. So uh, I'll do that and hopefully we can beat some PR soon with the squat. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted three sets of four reps and I only managed to get one set of four and then the other two were three reps. But it's not that big of a deal. You rebuild, you know, it's, it shit happens. It's all good though. I got something else uh, set up now. We're gonna move on to some deadlifts. This is my setup, let me show you. This is how I fucking set it up. Put the bar, put the mattresses there so I don't do any vibrations for my neighbors downstairs. And then I put all my shit on my couch, all my weights. So I don't have to run over in my fucking gym room and then bring all the weights there. I just bring them in one shot, they're right here. They're ready to load up and we can get the, the job done. Let's get to it. But first, I think this guy, this little guy right here, he like he loves the Costco boxes. I don't know why, but he just loves boxes. So we'll we'll give him a little little ride. What's up, buddy? You want to go and let me do some shoulder presses? Ugh. 
Yeah, he likes that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes to go for a ride in his box. <laughs> Hi, Leo. Hi, Leo. You like that? Yeah, you do. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 e. oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, shit, Leo. Oh, oh, e. Yeah, you gotta be careful, Leo. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, what the fuck is going on? I can do this all day. He's a guy to stay here all day. He loves this box. That's why I decided to keep it. He loves this shit. So, I'm gonna go for it. Sometimes I just do, do like this, put him on my head like this, and then I just walk around my apartment with him inside. <laughs> he loves this shit. She loves it too. She's sleeping right now in her bed. But they, sometimes they go in together and they, we, I just go for a walk with them. And I fucking bicep curl them and shit and throw them around. Whoa, shit. Whoa, oh fuck. And he loves it. He just stays in there, you know. He loves this shit. <laughs> Elio? Yeah, you do. <laughs> so let's say I do squats and then I go for some deadlifts. Like right now, I take at least 10 minute break to recover, regain my energy, drink some juice for carbs, sugars, just overall energy, you know? And then I go. All right, moving on to some deadlifts. What I'm doing right there on my stomach, I'm just telling you like breathe in through your stomach and brace before every single rep. Super important. It's going to protect your lower back as well. It's going to make you stronger and it's going to help you get some better gains. Um, for my breathing, for deadlifts, I, I uh, never really talked about that, but when I go up right there and at the top of my deadlift, I breathe again through my stomach going on the way down. So I'm ready to, for my next rep immediately. So it's kind of a different technique. Some people like to breathe in right before their reps every single rep but i like to breathe in at the top like right there i'm going to breathe in through my stomach going on the way down and then i'm ready for my next rep right after i don't know if that makes sense but um, that's my way of uh, doing it a lot of people do, do that i noticed um, it's just a better technique for me to save energy save time for my reps and um, today for deadlifts i did 505 this is 505 pounds for two sets of four reps and um, it's been a while since I've done squats and deadlifts in the same session, but I'm going to keep doing that because it's definitely the top two movements to get stronger and bigger if you want to get some gains. Uh, I mean, if you can master your own technique for yourself, it's really going to help out. Here, doing some uh, step-up lunges. My balance is the best, as you can see. It's so good. <laughs> now, that's why I'm doing some uh, unilateral movements again. I've uh, neglected doing lunges or step ups or, or stuff like that in the past like uh, months, honestly. And uh, my balance uh, shows, you know. So these really help out with balance and it's gonna help with some bigger quads as well. I kept it simple, kept it in between eight to 10 reps, did a couple of sets and I was exhausted after this and decided to call it. But mainly what I think of deep breath plus bracing before every single rep, and then I, I think of pushing through the middle of my foot and my glute from the leg that's working, from the side that's working. Very important. And I really try to keep my torso as upright as possible. And it's, it puts all the emphasis on the quads.